Okay, so I just want to give a little video update of what's actually going on here since it's been about a month or two since I've updated anybody on what's going on. Um, so I said I wanted a uh, surge reef control with the uh, power head pumps. And what's going to happen is I'm going to have two relays that are going to set in here for the first two outlets. And then I'll plug my uh, pumps into there along with the, the next four outlets will be various pumps, you know, like the main return pump, the skimmer pump, and uh, what is my UV sterilizer pump and a couple other things. And then the last two will just be regular outlets with switches. So if I want to plug something into there, like a timer. Um, in order to do all this, I had to go ahead and build my own DC power supply for 5 volt and 12 volt. And what you see here is with these little transistors, the transistors are what's going to actually trip the relays from the microcontroller because the micro microcontroller can't handle the 12 volt 100 milliamp uh, current for the coil. So using that, what I have here is the Ethernet controller, the Arduino, um, my pH probe. It's sitting in a storage solution right now. So it's around four, a pH of four, and then we have the uh, temperature probe which will be setting down the water measuring temperature. Uh, LCD interface so that you can locally control everything and also the web interface control so I can do something remotely. You can see right now it says the uh, pH and temperature. Okay, So with this you know I'll have a couple buttons set up to where I can scroll through the menus of the uh, so this is like, this could be a whatever menu I want for different pumps. I could turn things on and off uh, through this interface. Uh, main interface, pH, temperature, and then surge, you know, your left and right and off time. What the, uh, the left pump would be on for two seconds, the right pump would be on for two seconds, and then they would both be off for two seconds. And that'll be adjustable at the interface itself with a potentiometer. You can see it's actually in my mess of wires here the yellow LED and the red LED are simulating the surge pumps right now so you'd have your left and then your right and then they, they're both off but doing all that allows me to kind of customize what I want in a aquarium controller I can go ahead and add and remove things I want you know as in SMTP relays for email alerts or text alerts um, I'm not really sure if I need that or not one thing I'm going to add is if the uh, oops, if the temperature well I want my temperature to say at 77 and if it falls below let's say 76 uh, the LCD will turn blue and if it rises above you know 78, 79 the LCD will turn red so that, and then also if the pH drops or any other thing that needs to be monitored on the tank goes away, um, the LCD will turn red so that way I get an alert kind of locally telling me, hey, you need to check this out. Um, all of it just kind of needs to be finalized. Code needs to be cleaned up a little bit and take it all apart and add some connectors and put it in a nice little box. But it's coming along. 